What is a cursor? Why to avoid them? Let's see the definition. A database cursor is a control which enable iteration over the rows or records in the table. So if you have 100 rows in a table, with the help of cursor, you can iterate um, uh, each row one by one. So that is the cursor. So you, if you are if you are aware about the for loop, in the similar way you can use cursor. In the way you use for loop in the C sharp. Let me show you. Here is a sample cursor. Okay. So what we have done here is it's a five step process. We have first declared it. We have. Let me tell you. Sorry. So we have first declared the cursor. Here we have declared the cursor. Then we have opened the cursor. So like here we have opened the cursor. Then the next step is to fetch each row record using while loop. So this is the fetch, which is the third step, and this is the while loop we are using to iterate the rows one by one. And at last, then we will close the cursor. And at last, we will deallocate the cursor from the memory. These are also part of the cursor. Like in a loop, you have uh, uh, you are declaring the variable. Like in a while loop, you will declare the variable. Then you will start it. Then you will uh, one by one you will iterate it. Uh, steps are not generally asked, but it is good to know them. That how if sometime there is a need, then how we can create the cursor. Uh, at last, the next part of the question is why to avoid them? The answer is a cursor is a memory resident, set of pointers, meaning it occupies a lot of memory from your system. When you are iterating rows one by one, so it is basically consuming a lot of memory and whatever, whether it's a SQL server or whether it's ASP.NET server. If anything is consuming memory that is not good for performance so that's why you should avoid them because um, it's not good for performance